What is happening guys? It's the Stereotype Gamer bringing you a brand new video of a brand new series that I hope to be doing is Grim Fandango Remastered Edition for PlayStation 4. Um, I played this game way back in the day on the PC when it was originally released. Well, maybe not when it was originally released, but when it was new. And it's been an all-time favourite game of mine, so let's get right into it, starting the game. So how many of you guys played this back in the day then? On PC, back when it came on double disc. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well... The bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. yeah -ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle would sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. The community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. What is this? So you can see that this game has a lovely charm to it. With being that this like Grim Reaper style character is in fact a travel agent. Which is just really clever. Turn these subtitles on for those who are a little hard of hearing, such as myself. I love the art style of this game as well. 
putting my day to day. It's some sort of special work on it. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, if it... Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. So this isn't a um, kind of action game or nothing. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. No shooting or anything like that. It's a typical exploration game. I mean, it's only Better a few take steps these cards. away from... It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. Looks like a typical... I don't feel like... Um, it's only a few steps away from being a point and click game. Warning, this game does not automatically save. Yeah, I'll have to remember to do that at the end of each video then. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? The Code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Yes. Well, the Manuel Calabara that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out, if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trap soul and you don't even know it. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Que tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Just one more question about my job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. Well, well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I wanna see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, belleza. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right, I te watch you. Manny, if you don't... Right, I te watch you. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. Not picking that up. 
things to do. A lot of conversations to do. get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Hey, service. Hey, who the? Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes. You do. Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha, no, 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 I don't ride them, just wrench them. Nice hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. If you hate your job, why don't you quit? It's not just a job. It's what I was created to do. If I get any farther away from cars than this, I'll get sick and die. It's like I'm not happy unless I'm breathing in the thick, black, nauseating fumes. <sighs> hmm. Can't imagine. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh! Oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. You're not too big. You just have a self-image problem. A what? Repeat after me. I am not fat. I am thin. Women find me attractive. Hey, I never said I was too fat for the ladies. Just the cars. The ladies like me just fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. I'm too big to drive. Screw the rules. Come with me. No, I don't want to get in trouble again. They said one more strike, and I'm out. Well, do you know anyone who can drive? Everybody's gone. It's the Day of the Dead, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey! That gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign, back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. That won't help it get signed. It's locked. Hey, Maddie, did you get that work order signed yet? 
Not picking that up. Right, is that 15 minutes gone by then? Well, that seems like a good place to leave this now. No, I haven't sat that much done, but I have passed over about 15, 10 minutes. So, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you like this little flashback game as well. If you did, leave a like and leave a comment. And let me know if you'd like to see more of this game. So I would love to play more of it. And I hope you subscribe to the Stereotype Gamer and you keep coming back and join my videos. Well, till then guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.